Hello everyone and welcome to another Elite Dangerous Sellers and Plays. Um, it's Friday night, it's coming up for half past eight. I'm having a bit of a, a play this evening. I'm not doing any work this evening because I have had the shittest couple of days at work at my main job, so not in the mood for doing anything other than just trying to unwind and have a bit of fun today. But on that note, um, tonight's stream is going to take a bit of a serious um, ben, um, this is primarily for YouTube. I'm doing this one. Um, if anyone, because I know that Karash is on, and I've got no chance of competing with Karash, so <laughs> not even going to bother trying. Um, I'm just recording this really to go into YouTube. If anybody pops in, um, then that's fine. We'll have a chat on the way. But uh, why am I doing tonight's stream? Well, I don't know if any of you viewing this will have seen this post on Reddit today um, or yesterday. Sorry. Um, it's quite a deep meaningful one. Uh, one of the one of the few on Reddit that tends to be this way. <laughs> um, I've obviously heard of quite a lot of different things about Reddit, and I've seen a few things on Reddit that aren't particularly great. But now and again, you just get one or two or a few posts that just make you remember exactly why we're all here, why we're all playing this game, why we're part of this community, and the kind of wide range and range of people that we have in this community, and how we can kind of rally together around people a lot. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to, if you'll indulge me, I'm going to read through it. Because uh, I'm not going to scroll it on the screen there, because I can't see it very well. Um, Frontier helped me out after Mother Passed Away by Commander Sataris. Hello all, I want to take a break from CQC trolling and being a pilot of flexible morals to thank Frontier for something special and meaningful they did for me. I was travelling for work in June and scheduled to go back to my hometown to spend 4th of July with my family. On the second day of my work trip, my mother passed away. The last conversation we had with each other was discussing me coming home. I was shell-shocked, numb and alone halfway around the country. The day after I found out, I sent the following to Frontier via their support staff. I didn't expect a response, um, or any action taken on their part. I wrote it mostly to vent and to get some of my memories of my mother and why I love space, science and elite down on paper. Hello, I am a pilot flying under the alias of Commander Sataris with the East India Company. Due to circumstances, I am currently on leave from the service of Senator Torval. I am contacting you with a humble request and a story. First I will share the story. My mother, Cathy McBrayer, was born in April 1966. She raised two children. Over the years, she raised me with an interest in all things science. I was eight years old when I first stood on a dirt road in the Appalachian foothills and saw Mars in the sky through a telescope. Soon after, I could spot Venus, Polaris and name most of the constellations. She had very little and lost all of her surviving family members over the last few years. She was found deceased last Friday. Before she passed away, we'd spoken of all things astronomy and had hours long conversations about science and popular culture. Shows such as The Universe and Neil, and Neil deGrasse Tyson's Cosmos were fre frequent topics of discussion. We also discussed a new game I'd fallen in love with, Elite Dangerous. I was scheduled to travel home for the 4th of July and I planned on introducing her to the galaxy in Elite. Unfortunately, I will never be able to show her my new game. She is survived only by myself and my sister. I humbly request a memorial for her in game. I'm unsure if it's possible to still get player name systems, but if it is, I'd like to name a system McBrayer's Rest. An uncolonised system in Torvald's corner of space would be incredible, but anywhere I can fly to and think of her is perfect enough. I'd be willing to spend all of my credits, sell my trusty Python, which may be enough to rename a star system in today's market, approximately 130 million credits. However, if Universal Cartographics only accepts payment in old world currency, I'd be more than willing to pay USD to have my mother's memory be a permanent destination in the Milky Way galaxy. Completely out of character, I am grieving the sudden and unexpected loss of my mother who passed away last week. And I am would be forever grateful to Frontier if you are able to rename an uninhabited system to, Brayers, to make Brayers Rest. I have always used video games to unwind and deal with PTSD since I returned home from Iraq in 2006. My mother was a large influence and encouraged my love of space and science throughout my life. She always encouraged my love of gaming by doing things like playing Pokemon Red and Blue with me when I was a child. If needed, I'm willing to pay a fee via in-game credits, take it all and give me a sidewinder, or US dollars if the amount is reasonable. If it's not possible to do this at this time, I'll understand, but I had to try. I really just wanted to get back to my place on 5th of July and go visit a little corner of space dedicated to her and remember her in my own way. Thank you in advance for your consideration and thank you for this wonderful game which I've played since beta. The galaxy you created has seen me through many ups and downs already. Redacted aka... <sighs> Redacted, a.k.a. Commander Sataris, member of the East India Company, loyal pilot in the service of Senator Zemina Torval. 
Frontier staff immediately contacted me and said they would check into it. It was a little bit of bittersweet happiness. Soon afterwards, they confirmed me that a planet had been renamed for me on their test server and it would require a client update to be in-universe. Hello, Redacted. We found and renamed a planet in BD plus 26 2184. Well, it's not an inhabited world, it's a rather unusual planet. I hope you'll like it. Fly safe, Commander Saturn, Frontier Squad, Support Wing, your Frontier Developments team. Once the beta for 1.4 went live, I frantically asked members of EIC who had access to confirm deny the planet was there in system mentioned above. Once I got confirmation, I broke down in tears. Thank you, FDev. Edit. I'm reading everyone's comments and I'm overwhelmed. Thank you to everyone. I'll save it getting in game trip set up and post details when part 1.4 gets pushed out to live servers. Thank you to the commander who sent me gold. I will send it forward to another commander when the time comes. Also, thanks to Commander Corrigendum for operating to submit a Galnet post. Edit 3. I don't even know how to express my gratitude to Bidabug, but I am going to attempt a little bit here. Bidabug contacted me after posting that he saw my thread exposed to the frontier, offering to gift me a lifetime expansion pass. I've been put off purchasing Horizons until I recover from the expenses I had from my mother past. The lifetime expansion was out of the question. Without ever having encountered me before, to my knowledge, this commander did something incredible for me. His gift came in this morning, and I don't know what to say aside from thank you, commander. I'll try to pay this forward to the community when I have the opportunity. I've invited Bidabug and Corrigendum along with me to jump into the system with me for what they have done. Once 1.4 releases, I will stay in the system near the planet on the first Saturday of its release. I look forward to seeing any and all commanders out there, and given the opportunity, I would like to thank as many of you as possible in-game. I will also record a small video and publish it here with some of my thoughts and gratitude towards the community. Well, um, yeah, so, again, that just blows me away. That's what this community can do for people. Frontier themselves stepped up to the plate and really made that guy's life a little better. Um, yeah, it's a new one to me as well, but welcome to the stream, by the way. Yes, surprise stream. Um, so it's... The reason I'm kind of streaming with, with that kind of at the forefront of the stream is... Although I don't want to steal anyone's thunder or anything like that, I'm not trying to. I'm just saying that there was a lot in there that sort of struck a chord with me. Uh, because when Elite Dangerous was first announced, um, I lost my dad and my stepmom. Uh, within a couple of weeks of actually find, w within a couple of months of actually finding out about it, or a few weeks of actually finding out finding out about it, um, the week after I suggested doing the uh, RPG to Frontier, um, that was was the time the uh, my, my stepmom died first, which was around about the same time that I asked Frontier about what was going about what I could do, and then a couple of weeks later, um, over the Christmas period and sort of New Year period, my dad went as well, and. Frontier and Elite Dangerous, with all the different things that were going on at the start of that Kickstarter, with the my Kickstarter, everyone else's writers packs, and um, working on the, the writers bible and so on, it gave me a focus that I look back and I think if I didn't have that focus, if I didn't have Elite Dangerous coming up and all the things I was doing for it, then I don't know what might have happened. You know, I I, I wonder whether there was a lot of I dealt with most most of my grief by just doing that, basically by doing by burying my head in something that, essentially, my mum and my dad kind of got me into doing was elite. Because if it wasn't for them buying me a computer when I was younger, I wouldn't be sitting here playing Elite Dangerous today because I wouldn't have discovered elite. Um, yeah, so completely understand how he's feeling, how 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 frontier can step up to that kind of thing and it's kudos to frontier as a company that they'll do that for the community that they are so engaged with the community on every level that they can take that bit of information from someone and instead of being like some companies can be and say well no you're not important enough for us to deal with you they'll take someone's personal circumstances and their personality and take them as an individual and say yes we will help you we will do that for you that is perfectly fine um the similar thing they did for me uh, was when I <laughs> thanks Bifford was when I um, when I what what am I trying to say when I wanted to rename the planet sorry rename the space station that I'd named as part of the writer's pack pledge um, I'd called it Snowden as a as a kind of sideways thing about my granddad because I'd always my granddad died several years ago and I was wanting something to remember him by and I've always said that if I could do something then the first person I would honour with something I could name after them would be my granddad but I tried to be smarty pants about it and I said 
uh, just make it sort of similar to his name because his name was Snedden. So I said, get Snowden as a sort of older version of Snedden, and I'll, I'll know what it means, but no one else will. And then a few months down the line, I thought, you know, that's a crap memorial, that's a crap idea. And uh, I sent an email to Michael Brooks, and I just asked him nicely if it was okay to change that. And he was, there was no argument about it, there was no no, no question about it. He immediately just ramp, uh, stepped up to the plate and said, yeah, go for it. Um, you got Elite Frontier on a cover tape. Frontier was never was never um, available on a tape. It was on a disc, um, and it would probably have been either one of the Amiga or the Atari ST magazines. Because the CPC four six four would have been Elite, not Frontier. But yeah. Um, so yeah, I just thought that that was an amazing thing, and the big thing that went through my head was that. Everyone slates Reddit, um, and sometimes can slate Frontier and the Elite community for not being particularly great at times, or whinging about stuff, or being entitled whiners all the time, especially on Reddit. But as I said on on Facebook earlier on today, it doesn't matter what dark corner of the internet you might be on, or how many idiots are out there, there are always going to be that small core or even quite a large core just the, the the quiet minority who are just awesomeness personified and obviously uh Bidabug, who has literally just stepped up and given the guy the access to something that he wanted and the access to something he needed at, the, at, the, at this time in his life and did it for you know nothing for himself no reward for himself nothing even probably wasn't even expecting a little bit of recognition that he's just got on on reddit and it's amazing. I just think it's amazing the things that people can do on the internet for each other. Yeah, there might be a lot of bastards out there, but there are some fucking awesome, awesome people out there. And I salute you. I salute you all. To the elite community. The best bunch of bastards in the, in the universe. So, what am I going to do? Um, well, to be honest, I'm, I'm, I've actually started the game up in, um, in my private group. I actually meant to go into open. So I'm going to nip into open. So I'm going to click back out of that and go into open. I'm going to go on a pilgrimage to um, McBride's Rest. Where anyone who is in chat at that point in time will be welcome to join me in a salute and a minute's silence in memory of Mrs McBride. So that's how I'm going to unwind from my day today. Uh, open play is what I want. I haven't gone into open play for a hell of a long time, so... I'm probably going to get my ass handed to me at some point on the journey, but... I don't... I don't mind. It just takes that a bit longer to get there, then it'll happen. Right, welcome to open play. Now I'm scared. My Xbox wireless dongle does not seem to want to work on Windows 10 bloody Windows 10. I'm telling you, wait till Service Pack 1 or Windows 10.1 comes out when they fixed all the bloody problems with it. Don't do it. Right, actually no, I'm not going to do that yet. I need to actually change my ship. I'm not flying all the bloody way in a Sidewinder, I'll tell you that much for nothing. So we're going to start port services. Da -da -da. Shipyard, I should have shitloads of millions, I certainly do. I'm going to take. I'll take one of the new ships. Actually, I'm going to screenshot that because that's the wrong Eagle model. Some part of me feels it would be fitting to take the Cobra, actually. But I've been wanting to try the Diamondback Scout. So I'm going to try the Diamond Bat Scout. I'm going to whack myself a Diamond Bat Scout, I think. So, yeah, um, as I say, this is primarily a YouTube video. Um, if anybody, because it's announced, and I know I'm competing with other people today, but if anybody pops in, then that's fair enough. Um, you're welcome to join me. If you want to join me in game, that'd be pretty awesome. But if not, that's fine too. Just join me in chat. Uh, outfitting. Do -do 
Do, 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 do. Uh, we'll go for a better power plant. Sensor's not fussed about. Fuel tank I'm not fussed about. Um, fuel scoop I am fussed about. So um, ascending. Fuel scoop, biggest one I can get. Distributor. Actually, mm. off to London tomorrow. Mother's seventieth birthday next week is going on the eye and a few other things. Cool. Unplugging headphones from head for a minute. Need eye drops. So much information, but yeah, well, you do whatever you got to do, mate. Will that do? Need anything else? Coolio. Uh, don't think we need to buy anything else. Sure, umpteen fuel for everything. Okay, what's the surface? Oh, it retains the settings now, thank God for that. That's cool, so... Four. 
That's right, isn't it? BD plus 26, 2184. Locked. Just realise I've not put voice attack on, so let me just chuck that on. Keyboard on. Keyboard mode on. Reset panels. Reset panels. Bollocks! Correcting minor glitch. <laughs> Throttle disengaged. Ship released. Engines engaged. Race landing gear. Landing modules already retracted. Reset panels. System scan now. Power to engines. Power to engines! Boost. Afterburners engaged. Engaged jump drive. Jumping. Interaction mode on. Interaction mode. Engage jump drive. Engaging jump drive. So it's only three jumps, it's not actually that far. So this isn't going to take long. Engage hyperdrive. Engaging jump drive. Okay, and the last jump.
You can make the same journey as others have, thousands of times, back and forth, up, down, and each time on the path you walk right on by the most significant clues, the secrets. Less haste, more attention to detail, please. Hmm. I think while I'm actually sitting in silence and doing the in memoriam thing, I think I'll actually switch him off. Um, engage jump drive. Charging frame shift drive. Everything's working again. That's what I like to see. Oh, it's actually called Kathy McBrayer. Not McBrayer's Rest. But that's fine. Let us go. Drop. Exit Super Cruise. Super Cruise Drive disengaging. So, here we are. Kathy McBrayer. A memorial to a woman who brought her son up to love astronomy and elite and everything else. I salute you. So what we'll do is we'll um we'll have a minute silence and we'll remember what well, sounded like an awesome woman. He brought up a very loving, very caring son. Who gives his sounds enough like Are you in the beta? I'm in the beta, remember, Bifford. So when the first salute goes into there, that's the start of the minute silence. And then 
and the second one with the end of the minute silence. And thank you. Kathy McBrayer, Commander Sataris, that was for you. My condolences for you lost Commander Sataris. <sighs> okay. So it's um shall we look about then? This is um supposed to be quite a special place. Other than just being the memorial as uh Obviously Frontier have said it would be quite a, an interesting place, but it looks like it's a high metal content, uninhabited planet with an atmosphere. So let's have a let's have a quick look at the system. System map. Water atmosphere. Atmosphere of water, methane, nitrogen. Composition of rock and metal. I don't know if that's a normal thing, but it's a very musical sound to it, doesn't it? Very full system. Some lovely gas giants there. <gasps> gas with water based life. Last one's a free floating radioplankton. 
Wow. Okay, sorry, I'm just gonna have to move something here. <coughs> Kicking this bag full of shit. Engage Super Cruise. Engage Super Cruise. I'll switch them back on again. No, I haven't. Engage Super Cruise. Preparing for Super Cruise. Ready to engage. Right, so shall we have a bit of a look around? Well, there is a system all around this, so. Anyway, Titanic Brayer, gone but not forgotten. Oh, I see a Bifford online. Thing. If I was doing about wheel, wake up, listen. Do you hear that? It's the sound of conflict. These systems have a balance of power, and corruption can tip the scales heavily. Let us join the campaign and fight for honor, for we are the Peacemaker! Got them in open. Can't do high res screenshots. That's a shame. It's one of the reasons why I don't play open very much. Salvageable wreckage. Let's have a shifty. I don't know what I need for salvageable wreckage. Target. Target locked! Do I just have a cargo bay on this thing? Oops. No, I don't. It's not a lot of use, is it? Can't do that then, can I? Mind you, there is a station here, isn't there? Engage Super Cruise. Engaging Cruise. Four, three, two, one, engage. Da 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 
So, newsletter day today. I know that Karash is going to be talking about that on his stream, but uh, one thing that kind of caught my eye was another vehicle design was released. Now, I'm not even sure if this one's player usable or if it's literally just something that they're going to be using outside. It doesn't even say whether it's a crewable ship or if it's a remote ship. I am, of course, talking about... Actually, you know, let me draw to a hold. And I'm going to have a look for it. Well, Explorer. D. Shared. And graphic. Horizons. Do 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 Properties. Nope. That one. Okay. On. Nope. Okay. Try that again. That's better. Position. Fit this screw. Mission. Um, yeah, so this is the newest of the uh, vehicles and stuff that has been announced for Horizons. Um, they've described it as a gunner, uh, and like a, it looks like it's a, basically a facility defence vessel or vehicle. And I have to say, you know, it, it, looks, all, it looks pretty cool, it looks awesome. Not entirely sure how the propulsion system works, I don't know whether it's gravimetric or what, but I'll, uh, I would assume the glowy things are the propulsion system, um, and it works in a similar sort of method to like a rotor craft or something like that, whether it uses some kind of rotating force field to create the downforce or what, I don't know, but it does look very, very interesting. One thing I would highlight is it looks very much to me, if anybody's familiar with Games Workshop and the stuff that Games Workshop do, if you take those rotary things off the side, it looks very similar to the head of a tau battle suit. If anybody's heard what that is, if anybody knows what that is. Um, so it's, that's cool, I mean I'm pretty sure, I'm not, well actually I'm not entirely sure, I could be wrong, but that looks like a cockpit to me. Uh, with a little glass window on the front, and it's either that or it's a camera lens. So I'm not entirely sure what it is, but um, if that's pilot crewable, that could be a pretty awesome little ship to perhaps get to fly one day. I'm being interdicted. This is why I don't like open. Is it a player or not? Actually, you guys can't see that because I'm still on the screen. Oh, come on then! Maybe another reason not to play in open? Yeah, but that vehicle does look quite interesting. Um, I do hope that we get to fly it, or drive it, or pilot it, in whatever way. But one thing it does mean for me is it's something else to add to the vehicle list. And it's another design aesthetic to look at. Oh, it's an NPC. Under attack. Target. Targeting. Target. Locking on to target. Can I take him? Do you think? Power to weapons. Power to weapons. <laughs> Who wants to live forever? Dive. Not going to take him with static lasers. Fixed lasers. Sorry. 
Nah, I'm gonna run. Power to engines. Diverting power to engines. I think what I'll do is I'll just go I'll just go to the station and then I'll talk about shit. Because sitting like a numpty in super cruise, a begging target for anyone who happens to be passing, it's probably not right. I did think about that, but one of the goals of trying to get this book out, and one of the main benefits of being able to, of well, one of the actual benefits of being as late as I am with it is that I am getting to be in at the front on the new vehicles coming out. So, a design aesthetic for new vehicles, I need to have vehicles in it, I need to do pictures of vehicles in some way, shape or form in the game anyway. So having some actual examples to work off, and then something that I can maybe base my own custom designs on, that I'm going to have to try and come up with at some point, is worth, um, is worth waiting for. So I can put that vehicle and the SRV, the Scarab thing, into the book and they'll be two pretty good examples of actual vehicles. One of the downsides of doing the card idea is that I obviously then have to have some kind of image to put on those cards. Um, so I have to draw even just line drawings or something would be, would be plenty, plenty much to have. Um, so I can see where you're coming from, it's, it's another delay but I think it's a worthwhile delay. It's going to improve the graphical content, and hopefully, it should be it should be worth the effort to do that. So, and it's a relatively small task. Okay, see you in a bit then. I can't help but feel that your attention is not on this stream whatsoever, Mr. Bifford. getting dropped even further out from shit now. Hmm. And there's a thought, actually.
Hmm. Floor landing gear. Tang a lang, tang, 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 tang a lang. Engines disengaged. Um, outfitting. So F2 gimbaled pulse laser. better. Uh, two small points there as well. Should have stick something on them. Well, will or won't I, will or won't I, will or won't I. Yeah, me as well. Right, I must tell you, if you hear any outbursts, don't worry, and do forgive me, as I do enjoy a crossword, during which I tend to think out loud, especially if the cryptic clue is obscure. It's most irritating. <laughs> anyway, yes, a, a four-legged cavalry beast. Ah, H-O-R-S-E, horse. <laughs> there. If I do get stuck, you know about it. Okay. Someone told me that pulse lasers are better than beam lasers. So I am having pulse lasers all over this thing, making it a bit of a combat beast. And, oh, I came back at that, I didn't mean to come back out of that, because I want to go into internal. And in my type, in my class 3 thing, I'm going to stick a cargo rack in. How big can I go? Class 3 should give me... Yeah, that's what I thought. Buy that. Confirm. Confirmed. Okay. Right, I am going to have to go for a comfort break, I am afraid. So I'll be back in a second.
Ah, oh, no return. That wasn't that bad, was it? Right. Right, I was going to call the for salvageable. Sorry, um, salvage, legal salvage, was it? Or salvageable wreckage, was it called? Is out by Carthy's World. Race landing gear. Gear coming up. Engage the cruise. Charging Super Cruise Drive. Engage Super Cruise. Charging Super Cruise Drive. Hey, Bifford, welcome Four, back. Three, two, one, engage. I'm not really sure what I want to do as far as this vehicles PDF idea is concerned. I mean, I think that's something that I would contemplate doing once the book's out. I understand what you're saying, that it's going to streamline the process and make it quicker. But one element of the book that I've always tried to remain true to is that I did promise that when it came out, it would contain as much of the actual computer game as was possible. So the way I see it, if something comes out before the book comes out and before it's actually in its final editing process, then I've got to stick it in really. Um, and something like this hopefully won't take that much effort to put in. So. Power to weapons. Power to weapons! <laughs> Who wants to live forever? Dave! I love it. Target. Target locked. An adder. I see. I haven't got my other lasers on a thingy yet, have I? On a fire group yet? That was a bit silly. Target destroyed. Okay, let's resolve that now, shall we? <laughs> Laser hit death. Nice. In 
get super cruise. Preparing for super cruise. Four, three, two, one, engage. Dual CPU shown the rage. Yeah, need to update my system, but no money to do so. I know the problem. Um, I'm lucky at the moment because basically I have a fairly new computer, so I don't need to worry about upgrading it for a while. And hopefully my six cores should do me a while before I have to start worrying about upgrading or anything like that. So. But yes, it's advisable to do so. Um, I can highly recommend the company I got my computer from. Um, they're fairly cheap. The machines they, they sell are pretty good. Um, and you get a pretty good spec for what you pay, I think. I and mean, I think this, this PC pisses all over um, Elite. And pisses all over a lot of the games that have come out at the minute, like Watch Dogs and so on, it laughs at. Because um, I have tried them briefly to make sure they work before I buy them. So, I mean, for a, a couple hundred, well, not a couple hundred, but uh, just over a couple hundred quid, shall we say, um, it, was a, it was a very good bargain. So, save up. Save up all your hard end dosh. Oh, that's what I was looking for. Salvage wreckable. Salvageable. Sorry. Cargo hold. I didn't ask for that. Oh, you build your own, see. Well, you can always buy components from them as well. Or places like... Where does that used to go? Is it crucial for memory? Oh, what was the company I used to go to for bits? Because I actually went there. They they're were in Tottenham Court Road. I actually went there and picked up my bits from them. Me and a couple of the guys that I used to work with. I actually drove down to London to go to their office and pick up some stuff. Deploy landing. Uh, <laughs> Lowering gear. Raise landing gear. Gear coming up. Deploy cargo scoop. Deploying the cargo Excuse scoop. Deployed. Target. Locking on to target. That's an Imperial ship. It's a clipper. Target. Targeting. It's a clipper, isn't it? It's actually quite eerie, isn't it? 
What is it I've got in my cargo hold now? But it says salvageable, so why is it occupied? Why is it uh, occupied? It's not like it's gone up as slaves or anything. Pretty sure it's a clipper, or is it something a bit smaller? Is it a courier? Oh, I'm sure it's a clipper. Okay, so now I've got illicit cargo. Raise cargo scoop. Retract cargo scoop. Retracting cargo scoop. Cargo scoop retracted. That's one of the pods anyway. And that's what looks like on the inside. Wow, river holes and everything. I wish I was in um, a high res camera mode. I'm quite tempted. Are you playing alongside me, Bifford? You're actually in game at the moment. We are the explorer. Indeed. The Piffer has come online, has he?
All right, these salvageable record what wreckage things then? Are they quite a new thing or are they old? I can't put the bloody music on again, have I? Okay, what I'm going to do with this cryopod that I've just salvaged then, do I have to get rid of it again? Should I have scanned something first? Your Twitch stream being watched on mobile phone, chat on PC screen on the other screen. Now that's what I call multitasking. Look, I'll tell you what, dude. Um, I'm going to quit out of this and I'm going to go into my private group because I want to be able to take higher res photos because that's one of the main reasons why I keep doing this online. So I'm going to go into my private group. If you want to join me in there, you're more than welcome to. I came on open just in case anyone actually was on the uh, the main in the main game that wanted to pop in, or that might have been at that planet. Let's start. Throttle disengaged. Private group. Me. No, that wasn't long. Yeah, I can do high res photos now, so that's cool. Right, but I think what I'm gonna have to do though is um try and see if I can offload this. This illicit cargo I seem to have picked up. Engage Super Cruise. Charging super cruise drive. It's called CAC, just because it's called CAC. Engage hyperdrive. Friendship drive engaging. has all these USSs and signal sources and all the different sorts of stuff that's coming on but because I'm that used to doing the exploration stuff I keep forgetting that I can drop out and check them because I'm not used to, I'm because I'm back in the bloody diamond back in it I think I'm exploring but I'm not I'm in a tooled up and my cargo is not illicit anymore then that's okay at least not yet so where have we got let's see 
Where are USS? Shall I have a shuffle to eat that? Target. Lock target! Shall I give him a smack? Why not? Power to weapons. Power to weapons. Power to systems. Power to systems. Power to shields. Shields online. Engage hyperdrive. Charging frame shift drive. Sorry, engage super cruise. Engage super cruise. Preparing for cruise. Engage super cruise. Charging super cruise drive. Out of date goods in my hold. <laughs> What's the music level like, uh, Bifford? I can barely hear it, but I know it was blasting last time it was on. Hmm. Hazardous resource extraction site. Sounds like fun. Can't actually hear the music now. God, I wish the system would make up its mind what level it's going to play the music at. Seriously, dude.
Are you going to be around for the 24 hour stream next weekend then, Bifford? Need to start getting some um, adverts out for that. Start pushing it up on Twitter and Facebook and so on and reminding people I'm doing it. I'll try and get some kind of timetable sorted out for when I'm doing each thing so that people know when to be available because obviously I've got a few people that are going to try and pop on which will be awesome but they need to know what time I need to try and work out if everybody's going to be available to have a bit of a blast on the RPG Do you know what? Am I glad they've kept these? These great big swinging sticks on the Coriolis. Because they're in the frontier as well, aren't they? Didn't really see the point in them, and I still don't see the point in them. What are they for? What's the point of him, mate? I don't understand. Docking request granted. Power to engines. Power to engines. Deploy landing gear. Deploying landing gear. You're off again. Docking successful. Oh, Google Plus game. Hmm. What a game run for people on Google Plus. The only person really know Google Plus wise though, dude, is you. So I need to sell a, the front cry one on the black market. I can't actually give it to anyone. I can't actually give it to anyone as, as like saying, oh, I have rescued someone, please take him off my hands. I've got to sell him to the black market as a slave. Poor guy. I don't want to sell him, I, I don't want to sell him as a slave. I want to give him back to like freedom. Just Wake up! Listen! Do you hear that? It's Queen! It's Queen! Oh, wonderful! Flash! Ah! Savior of the universe! There will undoubtedly be many times like this. Moments of overwhelming joy. <laughs> 
I have to agree. Flash. Oh, that was that was joyous. That was impressive. I, I see. That's why I love Fasco. That's why I'm going to keep him as my pilot. It's fun. Fun. So, I honestly cannot get rid of this guy. I've saved a guy from a life from from death in space, and I'm going to sell him into the black market. It just doesn't. It doesn't feel right. It, it just doesn't. I'm not. I'm not pleased. I'm. I'm oh dear. I'm sorry, mate. Sorry. I'm a horrible, horrible person. Okay, there are actually things I need to do. So, just remembered, I need to try and get screen grabs of those spinny ships on the title screen, so that I can do black and the the ship cards, because I didn't have screenshots of all the different ships needed for the ship cards. So I'm going to head back to Shinrat Desra, I think. So let me try and work out <coughs> where I was. So rule book. Yes, I'm going to do some rule, some some rule book stuff, some RPG stuff again. Cause just the kind of guy I am. Ship card images, white cards, source images. Okay, there's stuff missing from there. I think I've got all the new ships. Just need to get the old ones. Some of the old ones. I have an anaconda, thank god, I don't have to worry about that. So, Shinra to Desra, please, if you would be so kind. I should assume that is Biffa down. It's telling me that it's exploited by Edward, Edward Mann, but I don't care. But it's also saying I've got somebody I know there. Anyway, Shinra to Desra. Fastest route. Exit. Um. Everyone be upstanding for Gemma Johnson. Yeah, same same list of weapons. That's fine. Kane Majer, hello dude, what's cracking? I'm having a bit of a play. 
I've had a shitty day, so I'm, having, I'm relaxing by playing my game. The track landing gear. Gear coming up. What have I been doing? Um, okay, this stream I started to do because I was feeling like a bit of unwinding tonight. Um, I have gone to <laughs> what did you say? Read G plus game. Get you from the room. Um, okay, I'll I'll finish that conversation first. Then I was um, wondering whether you mean like people on Google Plus or people on the Google Plus group who want to have a go um, or whatever. What you meant by Google Plus game? Okay, what am I doing in the stream? Well, I started off the stream by reading out a post from Reddit uh, about a guy whose mother whose mother died recently, just before Independence Day. Um, and he'd been looking forward to showing an elite, and he put a post up on Reddit to say that he'd sent a, a letter to Frontier, basically explaining the situation, asking if he could have a memorial to her. And they did. They did it. Um, they had no problem with it. Immediately just said, yep, fine, do it, have it. And I was just basically saying how awesome that was. So I did a little pilgrimage to the planet that was named in honour of his mum. And had a minute of silence there. And then we did a little bit of travelling about. A Google Plus game your choice of people playing. Engage hyperdrive. Friendship drive, engage it. Do you know, I'm sure he says frame ship. Um, it's an idea. It's definitely an idea. But I think what I've got kind of planned for the 24 hour stream um, is to have the live radio guys try and finish their game. Um, the guys that were originally the 30th anniversary special stream. <laughs> Um, and hopefully some Twitchers. Um, I'm hoping Kate Click and Mad Dog have definitely said they want to play, but I need a third. And um, Fire Toad said he, he probably won't be able to string that long together. Um, and I'm waiting to crash getting back to him about it. Engage hyperdrive. Preparing for jump. But yeah, it's certainly, a, it's certainly something that I'd contemplate. Once the RPG is actually out in the wild and people can actually get a hold of it and read it and have the rules for themselves. And I will keep changing them every five bloody minutes because I like fettling with them. Then yes, that is definitely a very good idea. And I'll probably start doing that. Yeah, but you're, you're not a Twitcher, are you? You're not, you're not a streamer. And I was kind of trying to keep it to just streamers since I'm doing it as a stream. Uh, as part of a 24 hour stream um, and I just wanted like guys that have been quite supportive to me I wanted to give them a chance to have a go basically but, uh, I mean support me twitch wise I mean you've been a, an awesome dude as far as Google and Google Plus and support and feedback and playtesting and so on are concerned but I'll tell you what I'll do if Karash doesn't get back to me um, then you are next on the list okay so if Karash doesn't say anything or can't do it then you will be the next port of call. Engage. <laughs> Engage hyperdrive. Jumping! Oh, thank you for the host, Kane. Don't need recording capabilities, Bifford. Um, I'll be recording it through Twitch anyway. So it'll be available as a live stream. What I'm what I'm kind of trying to work out is how I'm going to structure it all. Uh, whether I'm going to start and stop. Um, the streams each time I'm starting a new section, I don't know yet. Because that would actually split it up quite nicely for YouTube as well. 
Okay, so what is this seeking goods then? Keep seeing them. Let's have a look. I'm exploring new stuff today. Oh, you mean you can't twitch? Um, you can Skype though, can't you? No, you, I don't. You don't twitch. You can't twitch. That's that's fine. Yes, yeah, that's not a problem. But as I say, I mean, there's there's only a select few twitches. I'm really prepared to sort of have a, a sort of pop on the RPG. I mean, I've not really put it out as an open thing. It's just really people that I know well, and so that would be Toady, Mad Dog, Kate. That kind of stuff, um, and then it's, it's essentially the people that I know well that I would want to role play with. Uh, I don't really know the rest of the Twitchers that are kind of thingy with, the rest of the streamers that I talk with and who sort of share and sort of flit around all the different streams, like people like Nat's Right and um, Junks and all those sort of people. Don't know them well enough to know if they'd be into the role playing thing or whatever. But you, I know you're a good role player, Bifford. I know you're into it. Um, and you've been very supportive so again even though you don't or can't twitch it still doesn't mean to say that you wouldn't be a good person to have on that list of people so if you're up for it um, if I'll try and grab Karash see if he's up for it if he's not I'll give you a shout dude power systems Power to shields. Target. Target locked. Engage super cruise. Engaging cruise. Hello. Good afternoon or evening. I was going to say it's a bit dark for afternoon. Uh, no idea. I'm stuck in the cupboard. You're stuck in a cupboard. So you basically were trying to tell me is you're you're in the closet. I'm in a closet. Being precise. <laughs> Uh, now I can hear myself. Yeah, I'm just going to turn you off on the phone. <laughs> oh. That's fine, Kane. I'll see you around. Um, I'll I'll keep talking. I won't talk to you, but I'll talk about you. So, what do you want to talk about then, Mister Bifford? You mentioned you were going to Shinrata earlier. Yes, that's where I am now. Oh, hey. So is that where you are at the moment? No, currently I am going towards Dan Hoppy. Dan Hoppy? Oh, interdiction. <laughs> Your voice is very echoey. Yeah, that's because I'm in a clock it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Target. Target. Targeting! Target. Locking on to target. Come on, cool down. Well, I don't think he's doing anything actually. It's not firing at me. Target. Locking on to target. Alright, what do I do with these guys then? Do I heal them? 
Don't bother with random people blowing up your comms, sell your stuff to us, then just sit back and count your credits. Oh, I see. Ah, so that's what that's for. I have to sell them stuff. I'm not going to be doing that then. So I haven't got anything to sell. They're pretty too, are they? Jameson Memorial. Engage Super Cruise. Engaging crews. So do you want to talk about anything in particular while you came on, or was it just a random chat type thing? Just random. Alright, awesome. So how about them cubbies? Do you think the Cubs will win the World Series this year? Um, how about that weather? <laughs> Not quite that random. <laughs> Do you ever wonder that anything quite intimate that you think about yourself, other people might actually not share the same thing? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Random stuff. Is it is it normal to go to the loo and, and have a nosebleed every time? Yeah, you know, stuff you take for granted that you've done since you were a kid. Is it normal for the people? You're on your own there. Oh dear. Damn it, the doctors were right. I would say, by the way, that that is a complete lie. That doesn't happen. Not every time, anyway. <laughs> What was that? I said it hurts too much when you concentrate, you can't do it. <laughs> Only when you concentrate too hard, says Kane. Thought you were doing housework. Yeah, I actually have in my cargo hold at the moment four bottles of the waters of Shintara Ooh. which is only available at Shinra Tertra yeah that's right and I'm currently trying to get far enough away to actually sell the damn stuff sounds like a plan hmm? sounds like a plan Oops, too far. The toy landing here. Scan detected. Is 
the toy landing gear. The gear is down and locked. Reverse parking again. Docking there you go, look Engines at that. Disengaged. I'm about to listen to Gemma Johnson again. Woo! <laughs> oh dear. Okay, so hauler, adder, viper, type 6. What's missing? I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm oh dead. Oh no! Your cargo! No! Come on. Was that a player that killed you or was it a NPC? I wouldn't have a clue, how do you know? Um, on the scanner, if it's a hollow square, it's a player. Uh, I didn't get a chance to see that, I was trying to evade and get my super cruise working, it just didn't happen. Did you try and fight the interdiction? No. no. Sidewinder done. Eagle. Apparently, I haven't got an eagle either. Okay, so we'll purchase an eagle. Buy new ship, store current ship. Screenshots. Cargo hold empty. No! <laughs> Would be yeah. 
Is there not a vote on your comms list? Because usually they give you some kind of... Usually NPCs give you some kind of message to say, Yeah, I have you now! Or some kind of crap NPC type thing. Yeah, it could be. Adder. Imperial Eagle have done. Viper. Karash is in QC at the moment. He is indeed. Cobra have done. Done but scout done. T6 have done. DB Explorer have done. Imperial Courier have done. Vulture done. Functions. It's a vulture, you prick. Asp. Haven't done. Federal dropship. Done. Type 7. Done. Assault ship. Done. Clipper. Imp clipper. Not done. Federal gunship. That's one of the new ones, isn't it? Yes, done that one. Wingman one targeting now. Haven't done. Okay, buy that. Sell current ship. Confirm. Uh -huh. You type loud. <laughs> Sorry. You type so loud it gets your mic working. I'll say it's sensitive, it's very hollow. Like you say you're in a you're in a closet and it's not making you sound very good. And you're very distant near. I don't sound very good anyway. Don't put yourself down, that's my job. Clipper, gunship, orca. Ferdinand's of God. Python. I've got a python.
Wait a minute, I've got a funny feel. You're in my private group, aren't you? Yep. Can't have been a player then. So it was a player, it'd have to be somebody that I've invited uh, in the group. Damn it, must be an NPC. Yeah, it must be. Isn't Shield of Justice one of the minor factions in the game now? I'm sure it's one of the ones that Kate's been talking about as being part of her, um, as part of her, uh, what is it she's doing? The war thing in Slough she's doing this weekend. <laughs> oh, pardon me. I think I've done what I wanted to do, and I've left myself with a python and three million credits left. Uh, going down my allegiance list on status, which because I'm pledged to Edmund Mahone, I've got uh, where is it? CX Com Silver Partnership, and then CX Com Justice Party. No, it could be them. Maybe they just plain don't like you.
Okay, I'm stoked. Ready to kick some bottom. Well, I'm rubbish when it comes to fighting, so I think I need to get rid of all my rubbish that I don't need, like the warrant scanner, and just get my shields and stuff maxed up. Sounds like a plan. So I've just I've just kitted out the maximum pulse lasers I can. I've got a python bristling with weapons now. I'm going to give that a bit of a try. I just can never seem to get the person I'm trying to be fighting in my scope. Especially <laughs> if they're fighting, try, you know, interdicting me and attacking me. Yeah. The tactic I usually use, someone told me about, was if, if you're having trouble trying to keep the track of them, hit reverse, put, re put your reverse thrusters on, and that keeps them in more or less in your view and easier to keep up with. And when they start sort of pulling away from you, then hit the forward thrusters and try and keep them in sight. But when they start to manoeuvre out of your field of view, go back into reverse thrust and it will help you keep them in track. And of course having gimbals or turreted mounted weapons will help you with that as well. Um, got a 16 capacity cargo rack. Oh no, I've got actually I've got a shed load of cargo. That's fine. Um, frame shift drive. Let's upgrade that a bit. I think. Yeah, let's stick one of them in. Probably going to have to upgrade the power plant. It's a quarter of the price. Well, a third of the price, sorry. Eh, it's only money. Power distributor. Lastly, shield generator.
Come on there, I haven't verified an update then. At last. Uh, I'll put my surveyor back on there, I think. Actually, I'm going to go pew pew, so I'll put my shitty combat rank on there, I think. Right. So I've got loads of cargo space. Oh, wait a minute, fuel scoop, I've got fuel scoop. Let's just see how the target and things go. Let's see how the power management goes first. Okay, fire groups. Star them all, sorry. Grab myself a fuel scoop first. So, outfitting, internal, internal, name ascending, fuel scoop. doesn't kick it up by very much so I'll have that or at least me would fuck all money but who cares because I'm going to go and fight people and see if I can get any money do I have enough of the rebuy cost is the question though I just did that took on an NPC and failed miserably and had to jump out of there don't oh! Balance to uh, rebuy cost two seventeen. Yep, that's fine. Got enough for the rebuy cost. That's fine then. Um, there's a nav beacon. I wonder what the nav beacon's like. Is it compromised? Let's try out this. this I explain to what I Well, I took um, the federal gunboat gunship out to a compromised nav beacon and it handled itself pretty well, I think. Not against vultures, mind, but. Raised landing gear. Retracting docking modules. What is a checkpoint then? Let's go to a checkpoint, see what that is. Ooh, that's pretty. Engage super cruise. Preparing for cruise. Four, three, two, one, engage.
I apologise to the stream viewers who are probably watching this thinking, why is he not talking very much? But well, when you've got someone actually on chat with you and voice chat, it's kind of difficult to keep on talking stream of consciousness and the shit into that person's poor ear. Because he'll be hearing it twice. Well, I don't mind. You carry on doing whatever you're doing <laughs> and I will shut up. Wow. There'd be people here. Scan detected. Target. Locking on to target. Next target. Next target. Next target. Next target! So it's basically just full of system authority vessels then. You can't pick a faction so it's not a combat zone. And everyone's just sitting there. Everyone's just sitting there like I've caught them all with their hands in the sweet jar. No one's doing anything. Target. Locking on to target. Just going for fire. Hey, your voice is doing the same thing that my thing does. The buzz thing. Target. Locking on to target. Target. Target locked. Yeah, everyone should have some authority vessels. Seeking goods, checkpoint, seeking goods. Nav beacon. Let's go for the nav beacon then. Let's have a look and see what's there. Engage super cruise. Super cruise drive engaging! Oh, one thing I did forget to do is I've got to check the bloody power ratings. So I bet I'm going to get into this bloody combat zone. I'm going to fire up all the guns and it's all just going to go insufficient power, shutting systems down. And I'm going to go fuck because I probably switch my shields off or some stupid shit like that.
Bifford, do you fancy popping over to Shinar Desra for a bit of pew pew at the Nav Beacon? Wing up or something? Uh, currently, I need to get somewhere to. Um, I need to get somewhere to repair my own hull because I've been taking the chunks out of. Ah. Uh, okay. I'll just play on my own for a bit then. <laughs> Target. Targeting! Where is she now compared to me? Next target. Cycling next target. Next target. Cycling next target. James Diaper. Awesome name. Target. Lock target. Next target. Cycling next target. 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 Cycling next target. Gotcha. Target. That's quite some distance for me. Targeting! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen jumps. Target. Locking on to target. Target. Targeting. Okay, again, an abandoned nav point. No one's here. No one worth fighting anyway. Target. Locking on to target. Target. Lock target. Scan detected. Lock target. Target locked. George. Okay. Boost. Afterburners. I see pew pew target 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 locked it's another python power to weapons max weapon Kicked his ass. Target. Next target. Cycling next target. Target. 
target. Locking on to target. Target. Lock target. Scan detected. Must be Target. Targeting! Well, hell of a bounty there as well. It was, wasn't it? Target. Targeting! Target. Targeting! Target. Locking on to oh, target! It's all the same bloody people again! Now oh, beacons are a thorough pain in the arse. Boost. Afterburners maxing engines. Target. Locking target. Boost. Afterburners. Alright, now we can suck. There's no res pointers in the system at all, is there? Okay, let's go quite far away then. Let's go to north here. Engage hyperdrive. Jumping! It's unexplored. <coughs> it's got a name, it shouldn't be fucking unexplored. Engage hyperdrive. Engaging jump drive. It's just me, Bifford, but do you think the number of streaky lines and stars and stuff and star dots that are flying past in Supercruise and Hyperdrive has gone up? Uh, couldn't really comment on that one. I play so infrequently that I don't remember one thing to the next. Strong signal source. Okay, fair enough. 
I just feel that I've noticed it a lot more in the last couple of jumps. a lot of ships. Target. Target locked! Next target. Next target! Target. Locking on to target! Next target. Next target! Next target. Cycling next target. Next target. Next target. Cycling next target. Nice convoy. It certainly is. I won't start singing though. <laughs> hey China's Geek, nice to see you. The question is, what's it carrying? What do you need, Icarus? What's up, Icarus? The fucking mouse is always on the screen in Elite. What do you mean by the fucking mouse? Is it the the usual Elite mouse pointer or is it the Windows pointer? Or did you have it set to mouse control so when you move the mouse the ship moves around with it? Yeah, hardware cursor, yeah. Right, okay. That was happening to me, but I don't know how to get rid of it. It just vanished in one of the updates. Um, does anyone out there know how to sort it? Is it a hardware cursor actually in the settings? Right, okay. What we'll do, let's have a quick look in the settings then. Graphics. There you go, hardware cursor, on or off. So mine's is set to on, so I don't have the pointer on, so I would suggest put it on. That should sort it out. Thanks, China's Geek. I'm not bad, thanks mate. I um, I get the feeling someone's just finished. There's a lot of names I know have just popped in. Icarus 2012, thank you for the follow. Very kind of you. I'm glad we could sort your problem out. And I'm sorry you just seem to have been uh, <laughs> uh, banned, uh, not banned, but slapped by Nightbot for couples. So, I currently have a Sidewinder, a Type 7 and four Type 9s. And I'm curious to know what they're carrying, and I'm wondering whether it would be a good idea in a tooled up Python to have a pop at them. I'm kind of nervous about that, but I'm in, I'm in beta so I'm not really all that fast, but I'm just wondering if I can do it. Does anybody have any advice? Can I take them? Are Type 9s usually fairly well kitted out, or...? I don't have any kill warrant scanners or anything, I know I'm going to probably get a slap. What am I doing chilling on sound? Well, as I said, I'm just trying to work out whether I should... Um, I've jumped out at a strong signal source. I'm now sitting here looking at these guys who have just stopped. And wondering whether to try and kill them or not.
decisions, decisions, decisions. It's a lot of ships to take on. Yeah, see. Um, the in memoriam thing is, um, there's been a Reddit thing posted in the last few days from a guy whose whose mother died in just before Independence Day, and the Frontier have agreed to rename a planet for his his mum. And I went to visit it. But some lovely guy apparently on Reddit. One of the frontier groups. Um, essentially paid for a lifetime expansion for the guy so he could play it in beta when it came out. So he could see it in beta. So he's probably going to be playing this weekend and going to visit his mum's memorial in the game. I think that's pretty cool. Target. Target locked. Under attack. Target shields offline. Target. Targeting. Target shields offline. Target destroyed. Target. Targeting! Power systems. Max systems. And I was just kind of, I was kind of thinking it was a fairly cool thing for everyone to do. Um, a very kind thing for everyone to do, and especially the guy who gifted him the lifetime pass. That's pretty cool. Um, in anybody's book and I just th one of the things that sort of got me about it if you I mean you can always watch this back on touch later on or you can watch it on YouTube when it goes up on YouTube whatever but I've gone I'll go into it all there's sort of reasons why it kind of strikes a nerve with me as well around about the time where I because it's essentially around about the time ah uh, shit target lock target next target next target Target shields offline. What's better 
What is better than a Cobra Mark III? Mm. Power to engines. Diverting power to requested system. Boost. Afterburners engaged. Boost. Afterburners. Boost. Afterburners engaged. Boost. Afterburners engaged. Um, no, I wasn't getting wrecked by a T9. There was about four police ships behind me blasting the shit out of my arse as well. So, um, no, it wasn't just a Type 9. I was too slow. Essentially, what I should have done was kept on attacking everything until I got to them. Power to systems. Power to shields. Uh, engage hyperdrive. Engaging jump. Yeah, I took out two tech nines and I made the mistake of stopping to loop, admire the scenery and wait for things to recharge. So that wasn't very bright, basically. Should have just kept peppering away and tried to finish off the fleet and then have a look at what was there to salvage. But, that's what I get. Actually, that's quite a hell of a long way to go. Okay, I'll look at the map first, shall I? Engage hyperdrive. Jumping. What I need to do is find myself a good res site, resource extraction site site, and sort it out from there. But that was fun. Proof this ship can hold itself pretty well. So the Python's everything the dreamed it would be as a combat vessel. Just need to have enough money in the main game to buy one and kit it out properly now. Hey, Muscle and Barn, how you doing? Fuel scooping. Fuel scoop disengaged. You know what, guys? After this, I'm going to take a quick comfort break. Um, otherwise we're going to have an accident and then I'll, I'll pop back on again and I um, might even take some suggestions as to what to do next if you like um, playing the beta might have, could also have a go at CQC because I haven't had a go at that tonight yet and I need to get 
some ideas and some preparation done for the live stream, for the 24 hour stream next week. Just a week to go before that happens guys, I'm getting kind of nervous. Oh no! Loop of shame! I know. I'm going to have to get some other nights through the week and try and get myself uh, all energy up and try and go and buy some Diet Red Bull to keep me going. Now is he going to kick my ass or is he just checking me out? Just checking me out, that's alright then. I just probably going to hit my criminal record. Move along, there you go. Just had my ass whipped in CQC back onto a hot and run. That's what I was going to do, I was going to try a hot and run, wasn't I? Engage. Yeah, I never thought of that. Mind you, I don't know if it's going to be that interesting for people to watch. So, oh, was it half an hour or something it takes to get from sun to orbital? Hey, the mining miner. Welcome to the chat, I'm not sure if I know you. This Karash Skywalker. Oh, so Karash was kicking everybody's ass, was he? The rotten bugger. Ninety minutes. Really? Wow. That's not exactly entertainment, is it? That's a very pretty corona around the planet, isn't it? Let's see if that looks really nice when I pop out. I'm actually wondering if I'm going to shit myself when I do this. I'm coming from behind the station. I wonder if I'm going to pop out into the station's ass. So I'm going to put my engines in reverse before I even come out. Come on, come on, come on. Oh no, that's okay. That's fine, I can live with that. No, I don't think my dog's going to do it, he'll probably run out of fuel. I'll have to get the fuel towards to save his ass. <laughs> yeah, I think the hot and run is going to be something I'll do when... Um, no, I'm not streaming. And like, yeah, like you say, I can probably do that while I'm doing something else. I could write an RPG whilst flying to Hutton Orbital. Yeah, I'm going to take a photo of that. That's really pretty. I'm going to help you like make sure he's fueled up. <laughs> well, if he runs out of steam halfway through, then... Python, aren't I? God, I mean, that cockpit looks a bit weird. I keep thinking I'm in a diamond bank, but I'm not in a python. Scan detected. Riga did it while Skyping with Dog and me chasing him. Okay. Deploy landing gear. Deploying landing gear. Ah, crap. Remember, I'm in a big ship.
Engines disengaged. Whew, had a damn good heads up, it was in system at 10 minutes before me and I docked at the other station first. Was still gaining on it. God's sake. Anyway guys, I'm going for a quick comfort break for a second. I won't be long. Keep my seat warm for me guys. I'm back. Thank you for that. Okay, um, just a bit of a catch up then. Um, you've probably noticed that the stream tonight is called In Memoriam. The reason I'm streaming tonight is because I am doing it in honour and in support of Commander Sataris, who you may have heard on, may have heard of through Reddit and Facebook, who posted onto Reddit a couple of days ago that his mum had died just before. Uh, thank, uh, not Thanksgiving, Independence Day and essentially he'd asked Frontier if they would be so kind as to name a planet for his mum in, in a, as a memorial to her and they very kind of did so without any kind of payment or anything like that they just did it at the kindness of their hearts which I think is an absolutely awesome thing to do and is one of the reasons why I love this game I love this community and I love the company that makes it um, and to pop that, uh, to, to top even that after Frontier put his new planet in there and the guy was saying if anybody in beta could check for it um, and let him know, somebody let him know and he was bl he was blown away by it and then not long after that uh, someone actually gifted him a lifetime expansion pass so that he could play the beta himself and be allowed to see his own his, uh, his, his request actually in the flesh and I think that is just absolutely amazing stuff people just doing stuff like that on the internet for people they don't know just because they're part of that community and okay now and again we slug the community off and say that sometimes it can be a bit bad and that we've whined a lot and complain a lot and there's entire people on there yeah there are but on the other end of the scale you've got to remember what balances it out and that's the awesome guys like that who can just selflessly donate something like that to somebody who's obviously gone through a difficult time and help him get through it because him and his mum were very keen as are well, are and were very keen astronomers, very much into their space stuff, and obviously Elite is the embodiment of a, an astronomy hobby. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I'm banging about like nothing else in their um, effort. But uh, yeah, so I just think it's an awesome thing to do, and it's an awesome thing, and I just wanted to support them and shout out to him and pay respects to his mum, uh, who's obviously awesome because she brought up such a lovely guy who would do something like that for his mum as well so 
it also kind of I'll go into I wasn't going to go into it earlier but I'll go into it now it kind of touched a, a note with me because around about the time that the Kickstarter came out um, towards the end of the Kickstarter for Elite Dangerous my own dad passed away and my uh, stepmom within a couple of weeks of each other and it was kind of Elite that kept me going and the Elite Dangerous community and the Kickstarter and everything that went around it and the Elite guys and everybody around that who all kind of banded together in this big community and it kind of reminded me what this community was about and how awesome it was and it kind of kept me going and obviously the, the RPG came through in the middle of all that the RPG idea came to me and we carried on through there and obviously the guys that supported that and got that off the ground um, gave me something to get my teeth into and hopefully take my mind off what was going on and it did and it helped me through a lot and that's what I mean it's it's the community it's the community spirit of Elite and it's what kept us together for the last 30 odd years well about well, 30 odd years now isn't it um, and what makes us the thing that we are now um, the best bunch of people on the internet essentially but it's um the internet surprises me quite a lot. The first time I found out this kind of stuff could happen was I did a I wrote a web comic. I wrote and drew a web comic between 2005 and 2008, and through the run of that comic, a lot of different things were going on in my life, and it was kind of difficult. I actually started doing the comic because I had meningitis, believe it or not. I tried to try to learn how to draw, so I didn't have to look at computer screens, and then eventually, me being me, transferred it to a computer screen. But at a point during that process, the laptop I was using actually started to die. And the motherboard wasn't any use anymore, because I'd resolded bits onto it that often. And someone suggested putting a donate button on the website, so I did. And people donated money. People I've never even seen before, just on the strength that I'm drawing this cartoon twice a week, were donating money so I could get my laptop back up and off the ground again. And that was the first time I heard, the first time I kind of saw what the internet could be like. Um, and it's one of the reasons why I do love the internet in, in its way, shape and forms um, because there are people out there who will sacrifice them their own money, their own time, their own effort to do stuff for other people around there who just ask for it so oh Bifford's gone offline again <laughs> I didn't insult him too much did I? oh no but yeah so yeah so tonight's stream is in honour of Commander Sataris or Sataris or however he pronounces it uh, of the EIC East India Company I believe it is um, and his mum Cathy Cathy McBrayer uh, so hats off we salute her we salute him and we play this game because we love the same things they love <sighs> yeah so that gives an explanation because obviously the, when I started the stream and I said all that there was nobody on so I was talking to myself and now we have however many people are on now so I thought it was a good idea to kind of tell you what was going on so awesome sauce so what we'll do next guys um not going to uh stream for too much longer so that's what half eleven coming up for half eleven now so all right Bifford no problem um it's been great chatting with you and great having you on stream and on voice chat and everything so take care of yourself mate and we'll see you soon um I'll let you know what happens as far as RPG goes if uh, Karash Landon doesn't get back to me um, then I'll I'll let you know uh, but I'm hoping he'll respond at least with a no or a yes at some point I'll let you know but cool thank you thank you for being here tonight anyway um, right so what we do what we do what we do will we do some CQC or will we puddle about in space for a bit will we play with the Python and go to a res place or what come on guys give me a suggestion I've done some snapshots and some screenshots for the RPG um, I've done some mucking about in the new ships in the stream on Monday. I've done my pilgrimage across the Cathy McBrayer's world. Um, and I've got half an hour at waste before I need to think about going. So, CQC or in game combat, what do you think? Oh, well, there's a lot of you in there compared to what there was earlier. So, Python bounty hunting. Okie dokie. That's one idea. <laughs> Jack a diamond. Not a name I've heard before. Welcome to the, the screen. The scream? The script stream. Oh shit. 2000 repair bill. Shit. Shit. CQC. So that's one. No, no. I'm, I'm taking votes. CQC or Python bounty hunting. We've got two votes, one for each.
I'll have to go, I mean, if, if I don't get any more votes, I'm going to go for Bounty Bithy Hunt. Python Bounty Hunting, because obviously Jackie Diamond was first there, so... He wins. I also have to learn how to Bounty Hunt. <laughs> That's another vote for CQC. Two votes for... Three votes for CQC. The three to one, I think we're... I think we're looking at CQC then. I'll tell you what, Jack of we'll do some CQC now. And um, I probably won't stream again until Monday's Monday night stream. So if you want to pop in on Monday night, about 8 o'clock PM UK time, then I'll do some I'll do some bounty hunting. Because I'll still have I'll still have the Python at that point, I'll take it bounty hunting for you. How's that? Is that a deal? Is that a deal? We've got a deal, mate. Uh, save and exit to main menu. Oh, don't do that. I feel all, all thingy now. All guilty now. Well, I'll tell you what, you probably get the best of both worlds anyway, because I'll probably do this, and then I'll get my ass handed to me on several occasions. And then I'll probably rage quit and then go into the game anyway, so hang around, you never know. Right, what's the best mode to play in then? we do free for all deathmatch let's go for team conflict deathmatch oh but I'm shit at one-on-one -on -one, though uh, do you have the beta Icarus no it's not horizons it's the 1.4 CQC update horizons is gonna be either 1.5 or 1.6 we're in the beta at the moment Uh, if you want to get into the beta, you have to buy uh, either a lifetime pass or beta access from uh, thingy, from Frontier's website. Okay, death march. I've not done this. I have actually done this, but I was crap at it. Right enough. Yeah, Horizons would be two point zero, wouldn't it? Oh, oh! Thank you for the follow, Jack of Diamond. Appreciate it. Five, four, three, two, one. Engage. Power to weapons. Power to weapons. See what I mean? If that keeps happening, I'm not going to be playing this for very long. Target. Targeting! How am I supposed to take on a bloody Sidewinder and a bloody Condor? Come on, be realistic, guys. Target destroyed. Target. Target locked. Everyone will get CQC, really. So at least it's like a 
kind of introductory thing to the game. Ah crap, that's not going to help much, is it? Target. Targeting! Oh, thank you for the follow, Commander Brusilov. Welcome to the channel, hope you enjoy your stay. Target. Targeting! Next target. Cycling next target. Target. Locking on to target. Target. Locking on to target. Target destroyed. Woohoo, I've got a kill. I actually think that's my first kill. Shields offline. No. Well integrity compromised. Boost. Afterburst. Well integrity. Ah shit. Joe, you can't even target somebody. Target. Locking target. The only problem is that condors are made out of bloody tissue paper. Every time you start to see somebody on the screen, every time you actually turn around to face them, they've disappeared. Is that a deliberate thing, or can they all engage stealth mode that I can't? That was... that wasn't nice. Target. Targeting! And there's me dead again. Boost. Afterburners maxing engines. Boost. Afterburners engaged. Shields offline. There's me dying. Damage. Two minutes remaining. Power to systems. Power to shield. Okay, that's me dead. Target. Lock target! Locking on to target. Awesome. Target destroyed. Enemy victorious. Oh, 
Oh, what's in the bottom? Woo! -hoo. Four kills. Oh. I got a rank. Yay! Oh. 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 Load out two. It's not bad, it's irritating. It is kind of a bit ridiculous when you um, get canned so quickly, especially in a tissue paper shape. But now I've got a sidewinder, so I should last a bit longer. Mm. So let's see what happens then. Did I say thanks for the follow to uh, Commander Brusilov? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of true. It's a bit dodgy. Matchmaking is matchmaking that good? Is it kind of usually try and matchmake with people who are roughly your kind of level of expertise, or does it kind of jump around and match you with various different people? Power to weapons. Max weapons. Target. Target locked. Shields online. Taking damage. You've taken the lead. Target destroyed. I just kicked an ass. Target. Targeting. And then I got my ass handed to me. Yay! Boost. Afterburners engaged. Target. Targeting! Target. Lock target! Locking on to target! Target. Lock target! Locking target! Target. Locking on to target! Oh. Already off. Okay, so if someone's shooting from behind, it's probably a good idea to turn around and try and take him out first. Okie doke. That's a rock. That's a rock. That's also a rock. I'll just bounce around here for a while, shall I? Target. Locking target. That's a rock again. Target. Lock target. Boost. 
Afterburners maxing engines. Damn it, lost him. Ah, crap. Target. Locking target. Yeah. yeah, private matches would be awesome. Pick who you want to fight. Fight your mates. That's the way it should be. Power to systems. Power to shields. Oh, shields? You know, I once punched a polar bear. <laughs> shields are for wimps. Thanks, Vasco. Target. Target locked. Target. Locking target. Under attack. Power weapons. Shields are flying. Taking damage. Hull integrity critical. Eject. Um, I thought it was tw 32, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. I do seem to remember 32 being the maximum at one point, as far as instances were concerned, in the main game as well. Target. Locking on to target! Target. Locking target. Oof. That was a bit silly. Asteroids are a serious pain in the arse. Not what I need at this point in time. Target. 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 Next target. Next target. Target. <laughs> well, I still wasn't bottom. Although, probably I was bottom of anyone who scored anything. That wasn't too bad.
tell you what, I'll have one more go, one more run on this, and then I may have a quick bounty hunt. I'm not entirely sure if I'll manage to get something in before the end of the session, but um, if the guy is still here who was asking about it earlier, is he still here? Uh, Jack of Diamond. Jack of Diamond, yes he is. I'll tell you what then, if I'll um I'll have one more go. So I can get to the next level basically, and then I'll drop out and I'll try and do a quick bit of bounty hunting just for Jack of Diamond. Cause I'm just that kind of guy. Pandering to my audience. <laughs> Do 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 do. Probably all the same guys again. Oh, good, it's no fucking masteroids this time. Thank God for that. I'm actually looking forward to when they put these locations in the actual full game as well, just so you can fly around and dock at them. I would love to see CQC and the main game actually be combined into one big game. Because I would love the opportunity to fly my ship, dock somewhere, go and buy a condor or grab a condor and then go fly it, target. Target. Power to shields. Target. Well, that went well. Target. target. So how do people get chaff then? Is that somewhere a higher level than I'm currently at, is it? <whistles> Boost. Target. Really? Target. Next target. 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 Really? Target. Locking target. Target. Locking target. 
I've got three of them on me. Target. Target. Okay, that wasn't fair, really. Target. Nah. Power systems. Target. Ah, crap. Target. Target. Power systems. Target. Target. Power to weapons. Target. 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 Four fifty, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. Yay! Look at me all kinds of up in there. Rank three. I got an eagle, I got an eagle, and heat zinc long turn the beam laser. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Nice. Okay, that was fun. I enjoyed that. But as I said, I promised I was going to do a little bit of bounty hunting. Um, someone may need. No, I didn't mean to click that.
Oh, do you know what? Bollocks. No one else is playing anyway, so. Um, okay, so where I need to go for. What, what do I need to do for bounty hunting then? This is where I have to grab myself a kill warrant scanner, isn't it? Uh, outfitting. Utility mount. Name ascending. So there's a kill warrant scanner, I don't know. So there's one of them. Buy. Confirm. And is it a frame shift interdictor? Do you need a frame shift wake scanner as well? I'll grab one anyway. Right, internal. I'll get rid of one of those cargo racks, get rid of that one. Oops. Get rid of that cargo rack. Sell. Confirm. Um, well, it was bounty hunting. I was just going to like bounty hunting. I thought was um, when you sort of float through super cruise and nab people. Tell compartment. Name is ending still. Um, frame, 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 frame shift drive interdictor. Didn't say that, dude. Expensive. Um, what's the best one to get? I get a B2. Let's um, go to Nav Beacon or Asteroid Belt. Okay, fair enough. Well, that will save me a bit of power then and a bit of money. Because what I'll do then is I'll get rid of the frame shift scanner. And I'll just do it from. I'll try a res site. Kill warrant scanner. I'll do that on the second fire button in the first fire group. That should work. Chaff. Good point. Good point. Good point. Well made. Chaff, dude. Name is ending. Chaff launcher. Chaff launcher. Yes. Da. Okay, I'm just put a fire group as well. I shall change the fire group on that. I'll make the chaff launcher the second fire button and I'll put that in there. Turn that off completely. I'll make it the second button, why not? Uh, so I can fire the kill warrant scan or something and then switch the fire group back to the main weapons and kick someone's ass. Okay, so where's the nearest of those new res sites then? Chaff. Launch chaff. Right, there we go. So there's a voice command for it. In that case, I'll turn that off and put the kill warrant scanner back on. Delcar, is that nearby? Let's 
a quick going, quick going to there. Uh, Dell car. Yeah, that's not bad. I'll go there. Sorry. Launch. Ooh. Del Car Seven. Raise landing gear. Has anyone else noticed that if you're using a button on a joystick to use your up thrusters and you raise the landing gear, it actually cancels the key? See, that's even more pretty than it was before. Alright, fair enough. I'm going to stop for another one of those stupid little bloody photo opportunities. I'm a sucker for a son. Really, I'm a sucker for a son. Engage. Oh, no, wait a minute. Power to engines. Boost. Ah, oh, you bugger. Engage hyperdrive. Delta Sim, bit of a slogan to the but not too bad. Okay, that's fine then. We'll give it a blast for a bit. That's what, that's now five past midnight. I'm not going to go on much longer than this because I have a few things I want to wrap up before I go to sleep tonight. So, but just to keep Jack of Jack uh, whatever he said. Whatever his name is, Jack of Diamonds or whatever. Um, appeased and happy. And see, I, I, I love my viewers. I will do what my viewers tell me. And that's even going to be even more fun come the, uh, the 24 hour stream, which is basically going to be me sitting there doing stuff for charity. Which, because it's kind of like a telethon thing, then we'll, I will take suggestions as to what to do that people will sponsor me for. So that'll be awesome. Engage hyperdrive. <gasps> Trying to use up thruster before the ship was released explodified me. I've never had that happen because usually when I'm docked and it's never it's not released, then um, using the up thruster just doesn't do anything. Don't know if that was a bug in a beta or something they've resolved since then. Or a bug in the main game, obviously. Doesn't have to be in a beer, does it? Okay, so Dalcar 7. Dalcar 7. Dalcar 7. So it's got rings, does it? Two thousand light seconds, that's not a slog. That's not half bad at all. Kate Click just went live on Twitch at midnight. Get to within a thousand light seconds and you'll see the reses. Okay. I will trust my navigator. Kate Click, Hutton Mug Community Goal, 0.22 light years. The Hutton Mug. See, I, I, I don't even think that's something you do in a stream. Control F5. Ha! 
Hutton Orbital is now live on um, Twitch with 15 viewers apparently. Not that I'm saying you should go, I'm saying you should all stay and watch me, but high intensity or hazardous. Now you see I'm a bit of a noob at this fighting thing, so I'm going to go for the high intensity first and see what it's like. Ah, I see I said that and everyone's going. Quitters! Split us! Has ones give you wings? <laughs> Oh, they give you... you don't mean like a Red Bull joke there. In Hazardous Ones, you're up against wings. I've noticed wings in every, th in every one of them, in everywhere. Um, you get them at nav beacons. Even the uncompromised ones, you get wings there. I suppose it just gives you wings of bigger and more dangerous ships. Well, Jack of Diamond, I'm in the beta, so I don't... In the main game, I don't actually have enough credits to own a python. Um... But I'm using it for combat to try it out here because it, I happen to be taking a photo of one for the role playing game. <laughs> but no, I don't. Short answer. In the main game, I use a Type 6 for trading at the moment, a Diamondback Explorer for exploring, and a Viper for combat. problem I've got is I don't get a chance to play very often um, essentially in the week I generally twitch every time I play this game and that's usually only on a Monday on a Monday night when I do the Monday night stream which is the regular scheduled one that I do um, just now and again I'll get the opportunity to have a bit of a go for various reasons I don't intend to play very often because um, I can't justify using the time more than anything else I'm the opposite Nephilim. I have done exploring and trading and haven't done any serious combat. I mean, my combat rank is mostly harmless. Um, I think my, well, my ranks are there. Probably is why I still skin Nephilim, definitely. Trading's about, well it doesn't really matter what career you go for, you have to do trading at some point, so. I'm doing okay as I am, I mean I think the, I did, I was doing rares runs with the Type 6 before I went off exploring. Um, when power play was announced I went off and did some exploring because I didn't really want to be involved with the power play stuff, I wanted to settle down and see what happened um, before I even thought about getting involved with it. I still don't really want to get involved with it to be honest. So I went off exploring, um, but up until then I was using the Type 6 to do rares runs. I've since refitted it out to give me 100 tonnes. Am I still using the Type 6 or am I using something different? No, I've rejigged the Type 6's internals, so it now has 100 tonnes rather than the 50 tonnes I was using before. Um, and I've just been poddling around, I think mostly trading slaves. Popped into the Imperial Wars and started trading slaves for a while. Target. 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 
target. Target. Target. Locking on to target. Target. OG pancake. There we go. Target. target slab bulkhead interesting power to weapons Target. Locking on to target. Target. Target locked. Next target. Typing next target. 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 Target locked. Deploy cargo scoop. Let's grab some cookies. Don't the track cargo scoop. I don't do that very often. Target. target Next target.
chaff. Deploy chaff. Oh, spark sparklies. Next target. 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 Polar smaller. Boost. Target. Target. Target locked. Target. Targeting. Target. Target. Target locked. Target. Lock target. Target. Locking target.
It's a paraconda, isn't it, that one? Target. 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 Target locked. Boost. Oh, that was a good bounty. Target. That was lucky. Boost. Not going to get there in time, am I? Target. target. So somebody scans like that, can I not target them? Target. Target. Next 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 target. There's a new one. Boost. After burners. Boost.
No, it wasn't bad. Not a bad bounty for a sidewinder. Target. Target. Oh, fuck off, Gareth. Target. Chaff. Deploy chaff. Target. Oh, fuck off, Gareth. Jesus. Where is everybody? Everyone's buggered off. Everyone's buggered off and out. Huh? Pew pew and I'm missing it. Boost. Boost. Power to engines. Boost. Target. Target. Oh. Target. This is what buggers me off about res points and nav points, is you always seem to end up with the same people. And you cycle through all the same targets again and again and again. There's no way of actually sorting it out. And I've got somebody hanging about me, wanting to scan me, and I don't even know where he is. They are slow. They're slow ships. Um, but they are strong, and they can take a pounding, so they don't have to be that fast. And you can rack them with a hell of a lot of weapons on them, so they can kick someone's ass while you're just standing there. can do it this way, couldn't I? It's <laughs> getting his ass kicked already, so I don't know if I'm going to have much use in this one. Boost. That is gone. Boost. Yeah, turrets work, work quite well, don't they? I quite like them as well. I was locked on to Randy Poffle, where the hell's he gone? Oh, he's there, he's got behind me for some reason.
first. It doesn't drain a lot of capacity on this ship, but um, when I was using the other ship that I was using, the drop ship, it was draining it fairly quickly. I've got a fairly good power supply in this. Ow! It's just says authority vessels. Okay! Yeah, I did wonder that, but I was just wanting to go to thingy. I just wanted to take on the ones that were wanted at that point. So I'm going to call that a night there, lads, I think. And lasses, possibly, I don't know. So I'm going to head to um, a station if I can find one. In Vergari. Engage super cruise. I'm probably right in the middle of the thing, aren't I? Yeah, that's what I thought. Boost. Boost. Hey, no worries, dude. My pleasure. Um, I've had quite a nice time. It's um, chilled me out a little bit after a stressful day. It probably is in Scotland. It's probably, that's probably what it's named after. But um, yeah, so I'm not going to bore you with the trip back home. I'm just going to call that a night tonight. And uh, I'll see you another time. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for the follows, those of you who've uh, followed me tonight. It's very kind of you. And... Uh, let's get ready to close down. Hey, we go. Um, and I'll be back online again on Monday at 8 p.m. for the Elite Encounters update, and then I'll be doing the the, the usual Monday night stream at about quarter past as usual. Um, so I'll see you then, if not before. Take care, everyone. Uh, good night.